Hello all, welcome to rotanews.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create a bank's branches as well as external account and using a rapid implementation spreadsheet approach in Oracle Fusion ERP. Let's get into agenda. We'll try to understand how do we navigate and what is the FBDI template we have to use it, the table details and the import process as well as some references. So before going further, let us understand from the UI, how do we navigate a bank a branch as well as account and then we'll get into the template details so let me navigate to the fusion instance to understand or to find out the bank and branches right you just click on user click on setup and maintenance and here in the task list or maybe the other option also we have it what you can do is in the setup you select the financial module and here you can just select cash management and you can see all the set of things which are related to banks will be available here. Manage banks, manage bank branches, as well as manage bank account. Manage banks is a place where we can create a bank and also we can see the bank. Similarly, bank branches is for the purpose of creating a bank branch and you can view it and you can edit it. Similarly, bank branches is for the purpose of creating the internal bank account. Okay, so let's see one example here, manage banks. So here you can see, let us say, I'll try to find out the list of banks for the United States. And we can see the list of banks which are available here. And you can just click on the bank here and you can see the bank details. Now, if at all, if you want to see the branches here, you can just click on view branches or you can navigate via manage bank branches also. Click on view branches. It will show the list of branches for this particular bank which we selected. And the task name is manage bank branches. Let us say you can click on the branch name. It shows the branch details, which has the bank, country, branch number, branch name, and uh, you know like a, the other set of important numbers like routing number, BAC code. So there are some set of fields which are specific to a bank based on a location. So maybe if the banks, if the bank belongs to a country, United States, you may have a specific columns or a, like a specific columns which are mandatory. Let us say the bank belongs to Australia, you may have some set of columns which are mandatory and it may have a certain specific length also for account number or routing number a BIC code kind of thing okay so you always need to check out the rules based on the country for which you are trying to upload the data if at all if you want to see the accounts either you can just use the task or you can just let us say if you want to see account of a specific branch you can just click on here and you can select view accounts and you can see the account details of that particular branch which you selected okay or you can navigate via the task manage bank accounts so this is how we can view the data from the ui for the manage banks manage bank branches as well as manage bank accounts now coming to the next thing what we want to do is let us say if at all if we want to create a bank or a branch or a bank account so when i say bank account this is internal bank account we are not talking about the external bank account i'll try to give a clarity once we finish the bank and branch upload logic okay so now we now the next task is we want to understand how do we create the data if at all if you want to create the data for bank branches or account you have a task i mean you can just create from ui but let us say we want to go with the fbda approach right so now we have to check out let me go to the slide and we can discuss that the template details so first thing is you cannot get the template from oracle normal oracle docs.oracle.com you have to get the template using this particular task the task name is create banks branches and accounts and spreadsheet so once you click on this once you select this task and you click on that particular hyperlink it will download an excel sm file nothing but a vda template we can call it or you can call it as a rapid implementation sheet once you click on the task it will download a file name with a rapid implementation for cash management.xlsm file this is a template file which we have to use it for the purpose of creating banks branches as well as account okay and the next task is once you get the template what we generally do is like let me show you that so let us show let me show the steps here the first step is get the get the fbda template then fill the data so this template is having only one sheet let me show you that also so this is a sample template and here this particular xlsm file has only two sheets i mean the first one anyway it's an instruction sheet and the next data sheet is only one sheet and where you have to fill up the data for this particular i mean fill up the data based on your requirement it has if you observe the major data in major important stuff one is bank, other one is branch, other one is account, bank account. So using this particular sheet, you can just create only bank data or you can create a bank branch data. Okay. And if at all, if you want to mention the account information, you can mention the account information. So 
in this sheet, if you if you observe, there is no create. I mean, there is no insert or update kind of option. Only thing is, whenever if at all if the data is not available, it will create it. If it is available, it will not disturb anything. Let us say you already have a bank and branch. You want to add up an account, right? You just mention the existing bank and branch data and mention the account. It will simply create account for that existing bank and branch. If at all, if you whatever the thing which you mentioned which is not available, it will create it. So here, if you observe the sample data which I mentioned, so let us say I want to create in the first record. Let me nothing but this one, this highlighted record. I want to create a bank and then branch as well as internal account. So I mentioned the bank branch as well as account information. In the second example, I want to just create a bank and branch without any internal account. In the next case, I just want to create a bank and branch. And the fourth example here, if you observe, I just want to create only bank, not even a branch. Okay, so you can use this particular sheet for the purpose of creating only banks or maybe bank and branches or bank branch account also. These three combinations, you can use it. So now these are all the four records which I have created already, but now let me create one more example. Let us say I'll mention India. Punjab National Bank. So I'll just say Delhi branch. Okay, that's it. So now how do we upload? So generally in the other FBJ templates, you may have a like a generate zip file in the instruction sheet, but here for this one, you have the generate button in this only. So just simply click here and it will generate CSV file. Unlike other FBJ files, it will not generate any zip file. It simply generates a CSV file, right? So I'll just click on save. Okay, now the zip file, got, I mean the CSV file got generated. And what is the next task to upload what we have to do? So the task name is, let me show you the slide also. The task name is upload banks, comma branches and accounts. So for uploading also, we have to navigate to the setup and maintenance task list only. So you can just either way, you can click on the search here. So here, if you observe the create and manage are not showing here, create or upload is not showing here. What you can do is you can click on task list and click on search. Let me show you the first one also. Create bank and branches. Once you click on it here, it will download the template. This is for the purpose of getting the template. Now we want to upload, right? So I'll just say upload bank branch data. Click on this hyperlink. Now we have to select the CSV file which we got generated. Click on choose and now select the CSV file and submit. So this will run an ESS job. We cannot run any ESS, this ESS job manually from our like a normal like a ESS, of, ESS page. So we have to run, we have to upload the file from this particular place only. Now what you can do is click on Navigator, click on Tools, and here, go to Schedule Process, and click on, yeah, let's see. Yes. Okay, so this is the one. Upload bank branches and account is our uh, job and it generates a log file. Click on this one. And if you open here, it says some log information. And here, if you observe, this particular log is not at all user friendly. Okay, that's very tough. So, even like there are already enhancement requests which was raised internally and Oracle is still working on it. So, as of now, the only way to find out any error detail or success detail is only through this particular log. Other way also we is there, we'll discuss that. So for now, make sure that you understand, I mean, try to find out the information from this log file about the error details, okay? Now, so let us navigate, let us search the data, whatever we, whatever you have provided is created or not, right? So what do you do? Click on setup and maintenance, user list, setup and maintenance. Let's try to see whether the bank which we mentioned is created or not, right? So click on search. Manage bank, manage banks. So I've created the bank for India country, right? So the Punjab National Bank got created just now. And click on view branches. And yes, the Delhi branch got created. Let us say if you want to create, we'll just do one more sample. Let us say I want to create one more branch for the same bank, okay, in Tamil Nadu. So I'll just say Chennai branch, okay? Same bank, different branch. No other changes. So again, just click on bank account, generate, CSV file, save it. Now, so we are already here, so nothing to go where anywhere. Upload. 
banks choose the file and submit it may take a couple of seconds the time being i'll discuss some of the information yeah so we have seen all the steps and then so here the table details are this one the first one is whenever you create any bank it will get created in a party and of course we have a table name called ce index banks if you want to get any bank data instead of searching the data in the ce index banks because that may not have the full information you may not get the bank name and the remaining information the best way is use the view ce all banks view and similar for branches also you have a ce index banks and the same the bank data and branch data will be stored in the same table but we'll have a one of the column to understand which is bank and which is branch so instead of getting all this complicated information the best thing for ce related stuff is use the views see all banks see all banks v see all bank branches v and similar for bank account use the ce bank accounts v and i said earlier there is no interface table and there is no error table the only way to find out the log information or your success story is from the the log file and other ways like generally when we do a reconciliation right assume that like we have loaded all the data and we want to understand whether what we loaded and what is errored out and what is not loaded right the best way is you just prepare you just prepare a sql query getting all these particular columns and do a concatenation of all the columns and compare that with your data which you have uploaded that is the best way to perform the reconciliation of what is loaded and what is not loaded and to understand which is which are error, errored out okay and coming to the next one so these are some of the very important information references so how do we upload and you can just make a note of these two references and other thing the last and final thing so when bank and bank data bank branches and account data it is like a whatever the accounts which you create using this particular template is for the only internal accounts but when you are referring to supplier or customer you have something called bank account which is a external one so if at all if you want to create an external bank account you have to use a supplier bank file and similar for the customer you have to use a customer related data file so the only the only purpose of this particular rapid implementation sheet is you can create banks you can create branches as well as internal bank accounts okay so try to understand what is the internal bank account and what's an external bank account external bank account is the one which is which is for the supplier and customers internal bank account is for the purpose of the which you are using the internal bank account for the internal purpose like a ledger and legal entity book. operating unit level purpose okay so let us see that one the latest one which we created right so and we can just get closed bank okay can you see this manage bank branches and you can see the country here either way Punjab National Bank, Chennai branch, which we just mentioned got created, right? Yeah. So this is all about bank branches, accounts, and Oracle using the rapid implementation sheet. Thank you.